Meet Jalen Smith, the 6'10", 225-pound forward that averaged 15.5 points per game, 10.5 rebounds, and assists, shooting 54% from the field and 37% from downtown. And he also got it done on the defense side of the basketball, averaging 2.4 blocks and 0.7 steals, nearly a steal per game. As he might be the next unicorn in the NBA, if everything breaks right, Yes, I could talk about Alexez, I made a video on him in the past, but he's still very raw. Jalen Smith is definitely further when it comes to his development than a guy like Alexez. So no further ado, let's talk about Jalen Smith. As now getting into Jalen Smith's game, he's a very aggressive shot blocker, but he does it in a very smart way. You may see many aggressive shot blockers nowadays, like a Mitchell Robinson of the world, who currently plays for the New York Knicks. You see how he tries to block everything, but he really gets up in the air really early, and sometimes they initiate the contact by jumping into them and creating a foul. While Jalen Smith is a very straight up and down fundamental shot blocker, and he's very smart while doing it, and he doesn't let the offensive player initiate the contact while he's really smart while being aggressive, which is really rare in today's NBA, he's a very smart and aware basketball player. As well, he's a versatile defender. He's athletic and he's really good at moving his hips and also moving his legs or feet on the defense side of the basketball. He's just really coordinated and he is able to guard some guards as well. And he has potential to guard multiple positions in the NBA. And he's a really good athlete. He's a quick athlete that runs the floor very well in transition. He's a guy that's good in the half-court setting. He's literally good in any setting. So if he ends up going to a team like the Celtics that need that center of the future, I think he would just fit them perfectly because they have those guys that can get up and down the floor of Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. He will scare NBA defenses as a lob threat. Of course, it depends what team he ends up going to. If he has that point guard, if there is another guy that's really good at just putting that threat on the defense with the spacing and then they won't be aware of Jalen Smith heading to the rim, but he's freakish athleticism. He's not like the greatest of having like, he doesn't have that second jump like Zion, which is really rare, but I would say he has the athleticism of Jaron Jackson Jr. He's a good athlete at them today though, and I think he's definitely good enough for today's NBA playing the forward spot. Also his ability to perform off the dribble at times in half court settings and transition getting buckets. Jalen's good at boxing out. He has a good nose for the ball, has really good fun fundamentals for sure. He's not afraid to get in there and be an aggressive player going after the basketball, especially on offensive rebounding and defensive rebounding. He has a good touch around the basket, though, which is like really rare for his size, especially a guy that's a forward. You see him use floaters in the lane. He also has nice runners as well with a soft touch. He doesn't like push it up there. He actually floats it up in the air, and he's really able to consistently execute those because he knows his strong points of his game and he knows his weaknesses the best players play throughout their strengths and the best coaches play their players throughout their strengths and not their weaknesses and his coach and Jalen Smith himself he knows his limitations he knows his weak points so he does a really good job while in the game like he knows what he's good at and he doesn't force himself to do something that isn't his game he has potential as a guy who could rebound or steal the ball and push it in transition. Many teams nowadays would probably like to see him maybe just give it up to the guard. But if you're in transition and literally no one's on the other side of the floor and they're lazy getting back, he's definitely a guy that can handle the ball and just slam it down in transition. Now, the most impressive thing, in my opinion, is his shooting form or just shooting in general from beyond the arc. He is a very well-balanced, fluid jumper, shooting 37% on three attempts. And he really did improve big time because I believe he shot like 26% his freshman year. So it's something he's really been working on. But he's a fluid shot. You've seen examples of him shooting from NBA range. He could shoot off movement, the dribble, and catch-and-shoot situations. A big knock is, though, definitely he needs to get stronger, specifically when it comes to his base, as when he's in the post, it really affects him not being able to create much separation, posting up down low, and also being pushed off the block. It's hard for him to initiate contact because the result will be him on the ground a lot or on the floor a lot because he's not the strongest of guy in the world. He's not a great playmaker either. He's not really confident in his passes. When he passes, it seems like he hesitates and he's really stiff in that department. It looks like he doesn't have the grace of core vision. Hopefully he can get better with that with coaching. And I think that's also a confidence thing. I think he's a smart kid to work on that in his game. Lastly, he needs to do a better job positioning himself on the defense side of the basketball. Yes, he has the capabilities of blocking shots and he has the athleticism to guard the perimeter, but sometimes his footwork is really out of whack, which really affects him when it comes to positioning himself 
and he does need to do a better job closing outside on the perimeter. But I could see him going to a team like the Boston Celtics. I've talked about Precious Ochoa, but especially in the NBA and the direction it's moving, I could see the Celtics taking this kid. He has a lot of upside. I think he'll make an impact right away on the defense side of the basketball. I think he definitely needs to clean up things and he'll continue to get stronger, and I think he'll be a good basketball player at the next level. I don't see him falling 27 to the Knicks. I think the Knicks would probably, at like best, they would have to trade up to like that 15 slot or 16, and that's probably where the Celtics are going to take him at 14. But let me know down below your thoughts and analysis on Jalen Smith, and as always, guys, have a humble day or night. Peace out, y'all.